Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today's lecture is on the nucleus. The main objectives for this lecture are define the nucleus, explain the shape and structure of a nucleus, describe the nuclear envelope and its functions, define the nucleolus and list the functions of nucleolus, then explain the structure of nucleolus. The nucleus is the largest cellular organelle that contains all the genetic information that directs on all of the metabolic activities of the cell. The nucleus contains all the cell's genome, which organize as multiple long linear DNA molecules, which arrange in complex with proteins called histones to form then chromosomes. It includes the nucleus موجودة the nucleus. وتترتب هذه المادة الوراثية بشكل جزيئات DNA مع بروتين الهستونز واللي تكون فيما بعد الكروموسوم What is the role of nucleus? The main functions of nucleus are to control gene expression and mediate the replication of DNA during cell cycle. The nucleus is directing on growth, metabolism, and reproduction of the cell. مثل ما تلاحظ إنه الوظائف الرئيسية للنواة إنه تسيطر على التعبير الجيني وتساهم في تكرار DNA خلال عملية انقسام الخلايا. أيضا نلاحظ إن النيوكليوس تسيطر أو تساهم بعمليات النمو والفعاليات الأيضية والتكاثر بالنسبة للخلايا. The shape of the nucleus differs according to the cell shape. It is maybe rounded or elongated, but it is usually spherical in shape. The nucleus is usually located in the center of the cell, but sometimes the nucleus located eccentric in the cell. The nucleus differ in size between 5 to 10 micrometer in diameter and some cells have a nucleus could be reach more than 25 micrometer in diameter like ovum. The nucleus presents in all cells except red blood cells or RBC of blood where they lose their nuclei when becoming mature. If then كل الخلايا تمتلك انوية ما عدا كريات الدم الحمر اللي تفتقد إلى النيوكليس عندما تصبح ناضجة. Also, most cells have one nucleus, but others may have binucleate or two nucleus, like cardiac muscle cells. Also, may be multinucleated, like skeletal muscle cells. The nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear envelope that separating the nucleus from the surrounding cytoplasm of the cell. The nuclear envelope containing nuclear pores. These are nuclear pores. The nucleus is filled with nucleoblasm and containing chromatin in addition to the nucleolus. Why does the nucleus stain blue when using basophilic dyes such as hematoxylin? The nucleus is basophilic in nature due to its content of nucleic acid DNA that reacts with the dye. إذا النيوكليوس طبيعتها بيزوفيليك محبة للصبغات القاعدية اللي هي الهيماتوكسيلين والهيماتوكسيلين تتفاعل مع الأجزاء الحامضية اللي هي الـ DNA فلهذا تتفاعل معها وتظهر النيوكليوس باللون الأزرق The hematoxylin is basic dye that reacts and bind with the acidic component in the cell, such as DNA, which consider basophilic, while the eosine is acidic dye 
that reacts and binds with the basic components in the cell, such as proteins and other components in the cytoplasm, that consider acidophilic. إذن الهيماتوكسيلين تعتبر صبغة قاعدية تتفاعل مع الأجزاء الحامضية أو المكونات الحامضية بالخلية اللي هي DNA اللي يعتبر بيزوفيليك محب للقاعدة بينما الإيوسين الصبغة الحامضية اللي تتفاعل مع الأجزاء القاعدية في الخلية اللي هي البروتينات والمكونات الأخرى الموجودة في السيتوبلازم اللي تعتبر أسيدوفيليك محبة للصبغة الحامضية The first structure of nucleus is nuclear envelope The main function of nuclear envelope is to separate the contents of the nucleus from the cytoplasm. Also serves as a barrier to prevent macromolecules from diffusion freely between the nucleoplasm and the cytoplasm. Under the electron microscope, the nucleus is appears surrounded by phospholipid bilayer that called nuclear envelope, which compose of inner and outer membranes, which separated by narrow space that called perinuclear space. إذا مثل ما نلاحظ هذا هو nuclear envelope الغلاف النووي اللي يتألف من two membranes inner membrane and outer membrane between them there is a space that called perinuclear space Outer membrane of the nuclear envelope is frequently associated with rough endoplasmic reticulum مثل ما نلاحظ هذه الشبكة الاندوبلازمية Rough Endoplasmic Reticulum attached with the outer membrane of the nuclear envelope هذا هو nuclear envelope This give the nucleus function as rough endoplasmic reticulum where involved in protein synthesis وهذا يعطي النوكليوس وظيفة مشابهة للرف endoplasmic reticulum ومثل ما نعرف انه الرف endoplasmic reticulum هي تكون مسؤولة عن تصنيع البروتينات The inner membrane of the nuclear envelope is attached with the network of protein fibers or filaments that called nuclear lamina إذا نسترجع معلوماتنا This nuclear envelope composed of inner and outer The outer membrane of the nuclear envelope is attached with the rough endoplasmic reticulum this perinuclear space that separates between two membranes, inner and outer, the inner membrane is associated with the protein filaments called nuclear lamina. The nuclear lamina is composed of polypeptides called lamins. These lamins are synthesized in the cytoplasm and then transported to the existing network of nuclear lamina that found in the nucleus. إذن اللامنس هو البروتين المكون الرئيسي للنوكليار لامنا اللي يصنع في الستاتوبلازم ويرسل فيما بعد إلى النوكليار لامنا through the nuclear envelope. What is the function of nuclear lamina? The function of nuclear lamina is support the nucleus where it plays role in maintaining the spherical shape of the nucleus in the nuclear lamina to sahem or to hafad ala ata shikl kerawi li nucleus the nuclear envelope show the presence of nuclear pores these are nuclear pores that distributed through the nuclear envelope are the nuclear pore the inner and outer membrane fuse together to produce circular gap. Then, لاحظ عند nuclear pore اتحاد ال inner and outer membrane. These pore made of large complexes of protein. There are about thirty different proteins termed nucleoporins. 
The nuclear pores consist of cylindrical annulus. Each annula consists of a ring of eight granules or eight subunits that are made of several proteins that arrange in octagonal pattern. مثل ما نلاحظ هذه هي nuclear pores اللي يتحد عندها inner and outer membrane. Inner and outer membrane were fused at the nuclear pore. When we see the nuclear pore consists of eight granules, بحيث تظهر بشكل ثماني. What is the role of nuclear pores? The nuclear pore provide pathway to facilitate and regulate the exchange of materials. Between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. إذا وظيفة الرئيسية تساهم في تنظيم عبور ال materials, different materials بين النواة والcytoplasm. The number of nuclear pores varies from cell to cell. It is increased in cell activities that involved in protein synthesis. إذا يزداد عدد نوكلير بورز في الخلايا ذات الفعالية اللي تساهم بعملية بناء البروتينات فيكون فيها عدد نوكلير بور أكثر من الخلايا الاعتيادية Also during cell division, more nuclear pores are formed in the nuclear membrane in preparation for cell division أيضا في الخلايا اللي تنقسم يكون عدد نوكلير بور أكثر من خلايا الاعتيادية The typical uh, number of nuclear pores are 3,000 to 4,000 in the cell. The nuclear pores are permeable to some macromolecules, such as messenger RNA and ribosomes units. These are formed in the nucleus and then exported to the cytoplasm. Also, cytoplasmic proteins that can pass through the nuclear pore, moving into the nucleus, where it is essential for DNA replication and gene expression. How the number of nuclear pore varies according to the cell activities. This is a question for you. Nucleolus, the second part of the nucleus. Nucleolus is a spherical or a voiced structure, 1 to 3 micrometer in diameter. It is composed of proteins and ribosomal RNA and a small amount of DNA. This is the structure of nucleolus. It is basophilic in nature when stained with hematoxylene. This is due to the presence of this densely concentrated of ribosomal RNA. What is the role of nucleolus? The nucleolus is the site for synthesis of subunits of ribosomes. Then, the nucleolus is responsible for building the ribosomes, the ribosomes ribosomes. The nucleolus is involved with ribosomal RNA synthesis and formation of the ribosomes. إذا نيوكليولس هي اللي تصنع الريبوسومال RNA لتكوين الريبوسومات. The nucleus contains one nucleolus, but in some cases the nucleus may contain two or more nucleoli. They are usually multiple in cells with metabolic activity, especially in protein synthesis. The size of nucleolus also differ between the cells, but it is usually large nucleolus found in cells with active in protein synthesis. 
also found in embryonic cells during proliferation and in cells rapidly growing malignant tumors. The nucleolus consists of three distinct regions. These are nuclear organizing center, pars fibrosa, and pars granulosa. Nucleular organizing center, or in the nucleular organizer DNA, is about a sequence of bases from one to several pale staining regions which harbor the genes that coding for ribosomal RNA. If you can tell from one region or a number of the regions of the Fatha, which is based on the genes, and these genes are based on the regulations that are necessary to create the ribosomal RNA, which is formed later by the ribosome, in the sense that the nucleus is responsible for creating the ribosomes. Number two, pars fibrosa. Pars fibrosa, which composed of five to ten nanometer ribonucleoprotein fibers, which consist of a primary transcripts of ribosomal RNA genes. And then, how did Mantaka, the Tertuary Isle fibers, he a bar and a Nusach Awalia, the genat ribosomal RNA. Pars granulosa, pars granulosa, which consists of dense granules, 15 to 20 nanometer, it containing maturing ribosomal subunits particle. Eden, having mantaka elif min dense granules, here a bar and mature ribosomal RNA, elitushakil fimabat, ribosomes. The network formed by Bars granulosa and Bars fibrosa is called nucleonema. The DNA that is responsible for the synthesis of ribosomal subunits is localized in the interstices of that network. The function of nucleolus is to transcript DNA into ribosomal RNA and assembles ribosomal RNA into ribosomal subunits. إذا الوظيفة الرئيسية نيوكليولس هو استنساخ الـ DNA إلى ribosomal RNA وفيما بعد يتم تمثيل الـ ribosomal RNA إلى الوحدات الريبوسومية. When in nucleolus produce ribosomal RNA, they combined with proteins that produce in the cytoplasm to form ribosomal subunits. إذا عندما تتكون ribosomal RNA في نيوكليولس يتحد مع بروتينات تأتي من السيتوبلازم يتكون ribosomal subunits. These subunits then exported from the nucleolus to the cytoplasm were joined to form ribosomes in endoplasmic reticulum. هذه السبيونس اللي تتكون في نيوكليولس تخرج من النيوكليوس إلى السيتوبلازم وتتحد لتكوين الشكل النهائي للريبوسومز اللي يكون موجود على الاندوبلازم كريتيكولم الشبكة الاندوبلازمية Let's remember notes about the nucleus The nucleus contains all of the cell's genome the nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear envelope that composed of inner and outer membranes, which separated by narrow space called perinuclear space. Nuclear pores provide pathway for exchange of materials between the nucleus and cytoplasm. The nucleolus is the site for synthesis of subunits of ribosomes. Thank you for listening.